everyone. We are so grateful for your support, for your subscription and for your comment. It has really been incredible the number of subscribers that we have, the number of positive comments that we have, the number of people who are Facebook friends to Yorksy now or who watch our Instagram page. And we cannot thank you enough. Without you, we wouldn't do this. We need to apologize yeah. for having not released a video since February. Um, we're gonna explain why that's happened and we're back and we have a lot of video that we've shot that's gonna be edited into like five or six episodes and we are on the loop right now. We are speaking to you from North Palm Beach about halfway up the coast of Florida. So when we last saw you, we were going home for the holidays and our plan was to be home until the 5th of January. Yeah, our plans uh, were to spend, to spend some time at home, mm -hmm. to be in holidays, uh, to have holidays Eve, and um, to be like a couple months uh, at home. But, <laughs> you know... It didn't exactly <laughs> work out. Yeah, because nothing can be planned um, so perfectly. Yeah, so the transmission was out, as you know, and we found a guy in, in Florida who had a company called, you know, Marine Transmission Service. And he was wonderful on the phone and he had so much knowledge and we were so happy. And using the Great Loop website, we found a marine mechanic uh, in Alabama who could pull the transmission and put it on a pallet, and send it to this guy. So that happened. And I called the guy and I'm like, have you got a transmission? Yes. Have you started on it? Uh, you're my next job. As soon as I finish the job that I'm on, we're going to fix yours. And that went on week after week after week after week. And I finally said, dude, what we're paying to store the boat on the hard for a week is what I pay for a year. Uh, we got to get back on the boat. You got to start. Okay, okay, okay. You're, you're next. And the next week he called and he said, I'm, I'm really sorry, but uh, the, the ring gear in the back of the transmission is missing a tooth and I don't have one and you're going to have to find it. So I got on the phone, I called all day and I found a ring gear a company in uh, North Carolina. And he started to ask me all these questions I couldn't answer. So I put the company in North Carolina on the phone with a transmission company and they went through all these dimensions and measurements and all this other stuff. And so the next day, I called the people in North Carolina. I said, hey, uh, what are you going to charge me for this ring gear and this coupling? He says, I don't want to sell it to you. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you don't want to sell it to me? No. Uh, there's a lot more wrong with your transmission than that ring gear. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, your transmission is full of metallic sludge. It's grinding itself to little bits. I'm going to sell you that. You're going to need 10 more things. You'd really be a lot better off just getting a rebuilt transmission. Well, the guy I hired told me none of this. And I said, okay, well, you know, uh, can, can, can Mike, the guy hired, help with that? He says, all right, I'm going to give you some advice. My advice is free and you don't have to take it. But that guy doesn't have a clue. He asked me how to take the transmission apart. So here we are. My transmission sitting with a guy in Florida who doesn't know how to take it apart. So we had a little heart to heart talk about what to do. And we found a rebuilt transmission for about uh, $2,900. And we settled with the guy in Florida for a thousand and we sent, had, had it put it back together and sent it to the rebuilt place. And then the rebuilt place shipped it back to where the boat was. And by now it's the middle of February. So 30 degree North Yacht Service, uh, Connor is awesome over there. And he put the transmission in and then he called me and he said, Alan, your transmission had a custom output shaft. The output shaft of the transmission doesn't match the prop shaft. And so we can't couple the two together. So there's one company in the United States that makes an adapter from one and a quarter to one and a half, and they didn't have one, and they had to manufacture it. 
And that took two months? Two months, yeah. Two months. So we finally got back to the boat. It was on the 7th of April. 7th of April. Yeah. So four months. And as any of you who are familiar with the loop know, there's this nasty thing called hurricane season. <laughs> so oh since we got back, yeah. we have been all out to get around Florida. And we had originally planned to spend two months in Isla Mirada. And we spent a week and we took a week off and literally went on vacation. Yes, without any work, yeah. without, without any tasks, just off of the internet. Yes. And just enjoy it. And so it was, it was delicious. We didn't look at our phones. We didn't yeah. look at our computers. <clears throat> we didn't go to any meetings. We went to the beach. We swam with dolphins. We ate like kings. <laughs> uh, Incredible. We were snorkeling. Yeah, yeah. We, we went snorkeling. We had a car that we drove like 800 miles all up and down the Keys. It was absolutely wonderful. And then we got back on the boat and we hauled butt to get here in the shortest amount of time. And now looking at the calendar, we're going to get out of Florida in time for hurricane season and we can afford to slow down, which means we can start making videos again. Because when you get up at four, and leave the slip at seven and run the boat for eight hours and then have to get food and cook dinner and go to sleep. There's just no time to make video. Yeah, and plus it's um, it's a little bit nervous. I don't know if it's correct or no. Um, because, stressful. Yeah, it's stressful. Because uh, you wake up early, you deal with your work, main work plus partially work and so then you need to understand that okay you need to leave at 6 for example or 6 15 because we pay attention on tie up tie down so you just need also to check weather, weather forecast and according to all of this you just make plans and then like okay Drina okay are you are dealing with ropes I'm checking engine, you know, or let's check everything and then very quickly you need just to leave the slip. And then, of course, work intervenes and it's 8 in the morning and we both have crises at work and it's like, Darina, you have to drive. I can't drive. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a meeting and there have been times that I'm driving the boat with one hand and typing in chat on the other hand and Darina's standing at the front of the boat with two laptops typing on both of those with the binoculars trying to find the next marker. And by the time you've done that for 8 hours in 95 degree heat, you just want to go to bed. But the good news is, we're back. Yes. And our videos are back, and we have a lot of amazing content that is, you know, ready to go. We just need to edit it. So I'm committed to getting out an episode every couple of weeks and getting you guys caught up again. So thank you so much for bearing with us. Yeah, we appreciate it. And we didn't, we didn't die, we didn't drown. Well, we almost did in the Gulf. You'll find out about that. But, uh. <laughs> you know, but we're good, and we're here, and everything's wonderful. And York, see? Are you happy too? Yeah. York, York sees sends too. regards to everyone. Yeah. And thank you so much for your attention, for your support, for your subscriptions, and for your interest for us. Yeah. Because, you know, um, we enjoy everything bad moments good moments wonderful moments because you know life is so wonderful and you just take every day enjoy every day no matter what happens you just you just deal with it that's it exactly if you like what you see please subscribe it really helps us out and it doesn't cost anything we really appreciate your attention and subscription so darina how can people find out more about us online? You can find us on our website page here, on our Instagram page here, and also on our Facebook page here. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to be reminded of new episodes when they come out, don't forget to ring that bell. Thank you so much.